As a home builder, I have absolutely no need for a van like this. I sub everything out, but I wanna look cool and look like I work hard too. And for that, the Mercedes Sprinter is the only truck for me. This one's four wheel drive and dually, so you know it's gotta be cool. And it's heavy duty and comes with air conditioners in the back, so you can look like an HVAC installer, even when you have no clue what it is. Hey, what's up everybody? So me and Jordan are here at the LP booth and what's cool is they have this demo for Tech Shield, and we use that down in Texas on yep. your project. Yep. And I, not that I'm skeptical, but it's not something that I see in my well, neck of the woods. you're way up in the great white north. Yeah, but, but I think that this right here is a great example of why it's still probably a smart thing to consider when sheathing Ab a roof. Absolutely. So this is claiming 30 degrees, Jordan. Like, explain what's going on here. Yeah, so again, there's three different ways that heat's transferred, conduction, convection, and radiation. Radiation is how the heat comes from the sun to the earth, because there's no media to transmit it any other way. So it's the, the ultra or infrared, infrared light. This is mimicking the sun. This, this element here is giving off infrared light. It's heating up both of the roof decks. The only difference between these two is this has a wood backing on it, and this has an aluminum backing on it. Right. Now that aluminum has a super low emissivity, meaning it doesn't want to give off uh, infrared light. It doesn't want to emit radiation. So that heat has to come back out of the roof assembly. And you see here, there's a 30 degree difference between yeah. the two. Yeah, it's crazy. The difference from just raw radiation, yep. here we've got OSB and it's 138 degrees, and this over here with the tech shield, I mean, it, it's like, it feels like glass. There's yeah. no, and it's only at 111 degrees, so like almost a 30 degree difference. And what's, what I love about this display is it, I got a lot of comments when I did my last video on that. It's like, well, in the, U, in the Earth's atmosphere, conduction makes a bigger play or convection makes a bigger play than infrared. That's not the case here because we have open space behind there that if there was right. any convection, it yeah. would be equalizing it out. And if you're only worried about conduction, you have the same scenario on both sides. So just the radiation portion of the heating is a 30 degree difference, which is huge on a house. I mean, well, here's the thing, dude, that's the lifetime of the house, right? Yeah. You're not gonna replace your, your roof sheathing just every, every, every other year, yep. but you are going to have to heat and cool your house. Every single year. Every day, right? Yep. So this is kind of like you buy once, cry once, now you're protected from that radiation to a pretty high level. Absolutely. Gonna save on energy efficiency, so great product. Building Science Geek Report. This is one of my favorite new products that I've seen at the show. This is a company called ProFlash, and they make all kinds of products for flashing, hard to flash penetrations, as well as windows and doors. So let's start with the window and door seals here. This is a profile. They can make several different profiles, but this completely flashes your window with a back dam. So this one's made for this window here and this channel fits right into this channel of this window. If they know the depth of your window, they can put your back dam on the back side of the window, but still low enough that all of your trim won't be affected. So very customizable, very cool product. If it is up to a 48 inch window, you can just use one of these and you cut it in the middle and you slide it back and forth, the other half back and forth and lock it back in. And then you can tape or adhesively glue the two sides together to make your width. So you can keep these in stock and just throw them on your window. And then you have a very bulletproof flashing detail for the pans of your windows, as well as your doors. You see this has a back dam there. So your door just slides straight in. And because they are a polymer, they're super flexible. They're not going to crack. You're not going to get leaks through them from the install process. You put it in, you use your favorite tape or your favorite fluid applied adhesive to get it set down in there and glued on. And then the door comes right back to this back dam. And then once you have it installed and your door installed and you have your floor in, you can cut this back dam to length to make sure that it's not sticking up past. So instead of using a metal uh, pan flash detail, if you do this polymer, you're able to cut it to height. Now let's go talk about the Pro Flash product like this right here. We have a rubber seal that pushes over our pipe here and creates an air and watertight barrier. And then we're able to tape this 
directly to our WRB behind, making penetrations very easy to do. They make it with both rubber, and then if you know your size, these are adjustable on size, but if you know your size, you can also do it just straight out of plastic, and you save about half price. These are about $5 a piece. These are about $2.50 a piece. So if you're trying to save money and you know the size of your penetrations, this is the way to go. They also do it for electrical boxes. They have insulation, exterior insulation details. You can see how it's taped on using a mock-up of a zip board. You can also have them put this ring, this annulus ring, on any type of material. So here it's on DuPont and here's Tipar and whatever that is down there and some more stuff here. So you can put it on all kinds of materials. If you have a favorite house wrap that you like to use, they will be able to put this rubber annulus onto that house wrap and then you can use all of that house wrap products from the penetration back. Really innovative product, really cool stuff. We're gonna be using this specifically on our Belleville house and I'll let you know how it works in the field. Okay, so we are now at the hammer test where we're taking on the fiber OSB versus fiber cement from an unnamed competitor. This is a 16 pound hammer and we're dropping it from about maybe a foot and a half, two foot high and about three foot back. So it's got a lot of energy coming and swinging on there. And which, which one do you think is gonna survive? Well, you put me over here, which probably means I'm gonna lose. I mean, I'm assuming that's gonna happen, but hey, just so everybody sees, there is dead space back here. Yep. It's equal, we're just, you know, it's maybe not an exact, you know, test yeah, because why? you would have sheathing back here, but it's a good demonstration yep. on the durability. So Absolutely. here we go. Are you gonna call it out then? Yeah, we'll go, we'll go on, okay. the, on three. So ready? One, two, three. Let's do it again. One, two, three. And then, and then, that's, I mean, that's, there's nothing on the back side of this one. And that one's just completely, completely crumbled. Oh, I do want to show you one of the reasons why here. If I take this and I snap it in half, you see all of these fibers here? That is what Wait, is Wait, I don't have any this, fibers. You, you've got you, tiny fibers. You see the tiny fibers? Yeah, this was a setup, dude. You <laughs> knew I was gonna lose. You got tiny fibers. Tiny fibers. He's got little fibers. Indoor air quality is a big concern to us as builders. And one of the best ways to improve the indoor air quality is to ventilate so you bring fresh air from the outside because indoor air is often way more polluted than the outdoor air but you just don't wanna bring outdoor air in willy-nilly. You wanna bring it in in a controlled manner. April Air has a great solution, and we are actually gonna be using this equipment on our Belleville house. So this is hashtag not sponsored. April Air hasn't paid me to be here. They have paid me in the past, but I really like their equipment and I'm gonna use it because I like it. So this is their media filter, and you can get this down to a uh, Merv 16, so a super fine filter. It gets rid of pet dander. It gets rid of allergy and asthma uh, triggers like pollen. So if you're bringing in outdoor air and you pass it through a media filter, you're able to clean it up before it goes to a dehumidifier over there. We're gonna be putting this dehumidifier in. So we're going from the outside through a media filter into our dehumidifier. We dehumi we're dehumidifying the air and then we're putting it fresh, clean, dehumidified air into the home. Now that dehumidifier is gonna keep running to make sure that our air is at the perfect um, humidity level for comfort in the deep south where it's way humid, you need a dehumidifier. So we're dehumidifying that air all the time or when it's needed, but then we're also able to pull in fresh air as it's needed as well to make sure that our VOCs are diluted. So anytime that you have new cabinets, new floors, carpets terrible, furniture's terrible, there's a ton of stuff that we bring in that has a lot of glues and a lot of chemicals that are given off at VOCs. It's very hard to filter that out with any type of a media filter. So what do you do? You dilute it. The best solution for pollution is dilution. So we bring in fresh air, we dilute those bad particles, but then we're able to dry and filter all of the other stuff out of our air with our dehumidifier, some dampers that are all controlled by a single thermostat and these media filters like this. So stay tuned for the actual build back in Belleville and I'll show you how all of this stuff goes together. At the LP booth here, they've got a cool test showing the durability 
of their smart side. So over here on the left hand side, you have smart side. On the right hand side, you have fiber cement. And then you have two pitching machines, each one pitching about 60 mile an hour. And they're aimed directly at the, uh, the siding down there. So we're going to pitch. Bang! Bang! And you see you already have a dent on the fiber cement. Oh, and it's just getting worse and nothing here on the smart side. Walk over here and show. This guy always in my way. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> After three shots, completely cratered and nothing over there on the smart side. That is really going here. And after about 12 shots, you start getting some damage on the smart side and the fiber cement is just cratered. At the Simpson Strong Tie booth, they've got this strong drive. This is a truss screw and you can install it a couple of different ways. They have this guide plate that actually comes with the truss screw. So the purpose of this is a way to attach your trusses down through your top plates and make sure everything is securely connected. This eliminates all of your plates and all of your mini nails to get each one of these trusses screwed down to your top plates. Using a single screw per truss per side, we're able to screw it down. And it comes with this guide plate that you put up against your two by four, and then it guides the screw in at the perfect angle to make sure when it punches through at your truss above, it's all lined up properly and locks it down. They also have this quick stick here where the screw drops down and now you're able to place it wherever, you're, wherever you want, drive the drill up through. You see that screw sticking up through there? Get it lined up where you want it and you're able to screw it in all the way through and tie that truss down to your top plates. I'm gonna, gonna learn. You're gonna smell things that you've never smelled before. Okay. You're gonna feel things you've never felt before. Okay. And you're gonna see things you'll never wanna see again. So that's only three. <laughs> Clearly Jordan needs to figure this out, but let's go ahead and give it a try, huh? Let's go. Wow. And the wormhole. Oh, you oh, feel the air? That's you a feel sense. the air? Yep. Wow. Oh, that's my favorite, the subfloor. Oh, come on. Dude, did you get sprayed? I got sprayed. That didn't taste right. <laughs> it, was, it was awful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think I signed up for that. Oh, it's, come it's, on. We're still, still underwater. Whoa. All right. Man, this was a lot of water. Yeah. <laughs> Moisture resistance. Here we go, going to the next one. There's oh. the blow dry. Okay, smart side. Yeah. Oh, there's the a storm, you get more water. Where's that water coming from even? Oh my God. Lots of water. I won't be happy if I start getting hit with hail though, dude. <laughs> well, what's going on with this house over to the right, dude? The, what the it's, heck? It's, it's a building. Did you just get hit with something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I literally got hit with something. Let's get out of here. All right. You know, really, Jordan, if people really want to learn about LP, they could probably just check out our social accounts. <laughs> it would be a lot better than this. Yeah. A lot well, they drier, won't get wet. Too. Yeah, they won't get wet. Dude, I'm like you genuinely. Got really, you got really wet. Yeah. I'm genuinely. <laughs> look at me. What are you. <laughs> like, there's no way. Oh, that's good. Well, that's touche, man. That was, that was pretty good. All right, so now I can't sleep for the rest of my time in Vegas. Yeah, you better keep, keep, keep up both eyes open. Guys.